Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite Advance. So today I'm going to show you how to make roads in Unreal Engine. So firstly I will start a blank one because I'm going to explain how to do the landscape first. In case of you already know how to do landscape, just skip this part and go to how to make road directly. So let's go and make our landscape. So as you can see guys, this project is completely empty. It doesn't have anything inside the project. What we're going to do is going to here and select landscape. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is choosing which type of landscape we want. This one is the green landscape. You can actually choose any landscape you want, like desert, like desert landscape, and uh, maybe just write landscape and get the green one. The green one is the, most, is the perfect one for most uh, Fortnite maps. Anyway, once you get your landscape, you will just press create. And once you create your landscape, you will notice that everything now is green in your Fortnite island. And you can actually edit that and make multiple stuff. Like, let's say I'm going to make a mountain. So I'm going to click on that. Then I will build a mountain. You can build this mountain really fast by uh, increasing increase the tool strength. So I'm going to increase it like, let's make it max. Do you see it? Yeah. Then you can actually erase what you have done and you do really want that mountain. You can just erase it from here. You can also smooth the ground in case of the mountain, like let's say we build a mountain, but we really want to smooth it. So I'm going to just smooth it like this. So it becomes smooth. You can also flatten the mountain, just make it flat like this. You can also make a ramp, like let's say I want to make a jump from that mountain. So I'm going to build here, build here, just make this one a little bit up. So then I press add ramp. And as you can see, once he got from the mountain, he can just jump. You can also erase the entire landscape. So if you want to erase this area, as you can see, I erase the landscape and now I have just the basic line. This is in case if you want to build a city that doesn't have like the same landscape as this area. So you just erase the landscape so you can build without, uh, you know, the grass and noise here. You can also make hydro. This is in case if you want to make uh, like some sort of a water inside the area. So this will make uh, a low ground here so you can actually put the water inside. Uh, yeah, you can, you can really make multiple stuff using these items. You can also paint. Like if you want to paint, uh, just press paint. Also, you can, by the way, every time you can change the tool you are using, you can make the tool strength or the brush size, just in case if you want to make it small, like this or large. Also, the brush uh, fall off. Yeah, you can just increase it or decrease it. And also, you can actually paint your own road. Like let's say I'm, I want to build a certain area at, uh, at, the, at the grass, so I'm going to... Build it, do you see? I'm gonna just, just click it, make it smaller. Do you see? I can build this. I can also make another type, like this is the mud. Yeah, like uh, this one. I can build it like this. Let's try this one. Do you see? You can also make this one. And finally, I can make this one. Yeah, this is a different. So once you make your own landscape, now it's time to actually um, make a road. So, so now how to make a road. Again, you will need to go from selection mode to landscape. And you need to create any layer for, uh, of a landscape first, because otherwise uh, the road will be glitchy if you don't have a landscape first. And once you have your landscape, you will right click here on the layer and you will press create. So this is another layer for the road. I'm going to rename that layer for a road. And after creating that layer, what you're going to do is right click on that layer and reserve for splines. So now, my road is reserved for splines. Now I will uh, again go back to manage and this time I will click on the road. Then I go to splines. Okay. Now I have, now I can build my own road. So what I'm going to do is going to the island. Like, let's say I want to make a really, really big road. So I'm going to uh, hold control key in my keyboard. Then I will click using left click in my mouse here. So this is the first or the beginning of the road. Okay. Then I will start moving 
into that direction then maybe i want to come back or make uh, like uh like a loop or something yeah but in case if you doing this and it actually go into multiple roads you can just go back to here and the change and select just select this one and change the angle of this one yeah become smooth okay i need to make it a little bit smaller so i'm gonna just make it here then i will try to just change the angle so once i click on here i can actually go back and make a u-turn yeah you can actually keep doing that you can also do you see i can change the angle of the road you can also uh make this area a little bit high so i'm gonna just drag it to top side and as you can see the landscape will interact with my road so directly once i make this up you know you see the landscape is up with me that's why you should always make a landscape while you're making your road so do you see you can just build it like that okay yeah so the road is the, like it doesn't have any meshes yet we're gonna now start doing our meshes so what i'm gonna do is clicking on segments by clicking on segments it will select all of these items if you want to select a single item you can just press on that item and this one only will be selected if you want to select all just press on segments and once you press on segments you will see the details tab showing all of these stuff you can move the details tab here in case if you don't have the details tab you can go to window and just add it from here okay now once you click on segments you will see these details tab and you need to go all the way down until you find landscape spline meshes and we will add a mesh so let's uh, add an element then once you add an element you will just press on index now we can change the mesh for this uh, road let's say i want uh i want a road yeah road straight so i'm gonna select that mesh and as you can see the road is now ready but you see the grass is actually on the road how to get rid of that grass simply you will go and change the adjustment so i'm gonna say let's say i wanted to uh, change the center as uh, adjust for this road just to make it like you see yeah just to make to change the center of that road it's a little bit better but now let's make it higher from the ground so we're gonna go to this one and make it like five and now the grass is completely off the ground you cannot see the grass anymore you see you can also change uh, and make the the road a little bit smaller so let's go to this one let's make it 0.5 and in that case as you can see the road is a little bit smaller you can just go back to 0.7 or 0.9 you can change the size of that road just to make it perfect and in case if you do, don't really want to in to change the entire road and you you want only to change a certain part of that road you can simply select select that part that you want to change like let's say i'm going to select this part and i will maybe change the meshes for that for this part so i make it something like that in that case only this part will be changed and the other the entire road will not be changed let's go back and also guys if you want to uh if you don't like the, this uh road straight and you want to add other stuff you can uh, add the material to that road and by pressing under material overrides and while you're pressing on material let's say i want to make it a desert so i want to make a desert road yeah uh sorry i forgot and selected this one only i need to uh press on segments so i can select the entire area and again uh, i'm gonna just uh, delete the multiple values and i will just add here and i will make it as a desert root so yeah then as you can see the root will be completely changed from a normal root to a desert root
And now let's say you actually finished editing that route for now and you want to back to this route later. So I'm gonna just press selection. Now I am back to normal mode so I can actually do other stuff. And after doing the other stuff, maybe you, you think you want to extend that road again. So again, you will go back to landscape mode. And in this time, if I press control, it will make a completely new road. So what I'm gonna do is just leaving all of that and go to a certain point at the road, like let's say this point, or if you want to extend that road from that direction, just increase the camera so we can move faster. Okay need to see the camera just to make it faster yeah let's say i want to extend the road from that direction so i'm gonna just select here and start moving maybe to just uh make a perfect loop or something yeah i need uh, i lost the selection i need to select the last part then yeah, so this how to make a perfect loop. So I think that's enough for today. If you needed help with anything related to road, just let, let me know in the comments and what should be the next video. Thanks a lot guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.